Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. I guess it's Core Optimus Prime. Is this scale called Core? Does it say it on the package somewhere? Core class, yes, I was right. And I wouldn't normally review this, it's such a cheap little thing, I figured there's no point. But also there is, because it's a damn nice Transformer for $11 or whatever it is. So if you're into small things, um, you know, some people are, I found that... Anyway, it's a good figure for $11, so I'm gonna do a quick review. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Uh, this guy stands, roughly, let me get his legs fixed. This guy stands just about nine and a half centimeters, and that's gonna make him pretty close to three and three quarter inches. It's very small. Here he is up against a proper action figure of the utmost quality. You can see he comes up just to the waist. He's very, very tiny. But he's got a surprisingly good set of detailed paint jobs and things on there. It's very nice. Okay, question of the day. When you're buying stuff for your collection, how much does size factor in? Do you like to collect more small things? Do you like to collect more big things maybe? Or do you care about scale? Or does size not matter at all? For me, I tend to not like little things just because you can't pack in enough quality for me to enjoy plus it's smaller so you can't see it from a distance at all so that kind of thing I pretty much stick with 112 scale or bigger stuff but this thing was so nice I figured what the heck okay so let's go ahead and talk about it it's almost all molded plastic except for the detail stuff obviously all the color in here is painted the blues and the silvers that's pretty nice you can see the molded silver doesn't even come close to matching at least in real life, maybe on camera it does, but the silver on the sides looks way nicer than this molded stuff. The silver in here looks really good. The Autobot logo is clean as heck. Very nicely done for the size. For sale, scale comparison, it's tiny. And then his head, it's not perfect. Are his eyes even painted? They are, <laughs> but just a little bit. It's nicely done though, it's pretty good. His little smokestacks, like it's, nice for this scale it's pretty good uh, Op optimus prime is an easy one to execute well so it's not that surprising but they did do a good job i think proportions are nice sculpt is nice kibble is not great because we have these big flaps with the wheels and the wheels are kind of close to where they belong sort of but not really but otherwise he's pretty good other than having hollow legs he looks decent enough Again, for $11, the ball pegs are kind of big but functional. He does come with his gun. We'll do accessories real quick. There's his gun. He doesn't hold it that well. It looks kind of goofy, but it's there. And again, for 11 bucks, I think you're going to enjoy it just fine. I'm not going to do the full-on ratings. We don't need to for this figure. All right, let's talk about the articulation. The head does rotate. Of course, you need to be able to rotate. Shoulders are on a big ball peg, so you get your full rotation there. Raise the arms up. You get a little bit of a bicep swivel out of that if you need it. You get a big ball peg for the elbow, which gives you a proper 90 degree bend. There's your extra bicep swivel built into that if you need it. Wrists don't do anything other than as far as like transforming functionality. There is technically a waist twist. If you untab this, you can rotate his upper body. I don't know that you would really want to do that, but you probably want to leave that tabbed in for the transformation but you can if you want to. Hips are also on ball pegs, so you can bring them all the way up. They go back a decent amount. And they go out to the side a decent amount. Thigh swivel is built in, so that's cool. It's surprisingly effective. Simple joints can work just fine. Knee joints, another ball peg, and it works really well. He gets a deep knee bend, sorta, and obviously you get some rotation out of that if you need it. No ankle articulation, unfortunately. It would have been cool if they added that. Uh, I think a couple of ball pegs would have been nice down there, but it's not bad. So, yeah, it poses well enough. It, does it look great? No. But for $11, it looks just fine. And if you're into something small and unique and just want to toss it into your collection, you could do that. And you wouldn't be disappointed at all. So, just wanted to give you guys a quick review on something that maybe you didn't even know existed. I didn't know it existed. I saw a picture. I thought it was a bigger figure. And then I was like, hey, it's only 11 bucks. I'll grab one. And I think that's where most people are going to come from. So, yeah, I'll also do the transformation and show you what that looks like in the photos. It has functional wheels. 
so that's cool. Um, but the vehicle mode's not great, and you're going to be buying it for robot mode probably. But yeah, I'll have the photos at the end so you can see the vehicle mode. But it's a solid release. I recommend it. I'm not going to rate it. It's definitely worth the 11 bucks. It looks very, very nice for the price. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.